All right, I was compelled to do a follow-up video on the one that I did last week uh, about how the government has caused inflation, and I, I've titled it, in my mind, the Fibber video. High prices were not caused by Bidenomics. Uh, the biggest thing that I kind of messed up is that I didn't really explain to everybody what M1 and M2 was, so I got a ton of comments asking, well, what the heck is M1 and M2? So in my attempt to keep the video short, I did not do a good job in explaining what M1 and M2 is. Now, M1 and M2 is the way in the U.S. economy we measure the money supply. So first off, M1 is basically the measurement of the money that you physically have in your pocket under your mattress in a checking account or anything that they call demand deposits that you have in a bank that you can take out quickly. M2 is everything that is M1 plus savings accounts, time deposits like CDs and money market accounts. That is a more broad definition of, of the money supply. So it's M1 and M2. Now to use a fancy phrase, they call this a positive correlation. That just means as one goes up, so does the other one. And you can see that in these graphs. So why is this important to everyone? Well, inflation is the leading cause for interest rates to go up, all right? And these are interest rates on everything from car loans, student loans, credit cards. But in my world, since I'm a real estate agent, the most concerning thing is mortgage rates. I hope this helped, and I hope that you have a little better understanding of this, because like I said, every time I do these videos, I do it for one reason, and that's really keep you informed, and I, I hope you learned something. So if you have any questions, leave them below, and I'll uh, try to answer them and get right back to you. Thanks for watching. You dropped 150 grand on a fucking education you could have got for a dollar. 50 in late charges at the public library. <laughs> My boy's wicked smart.